Hi everybody, I'm Amy from From The Cauldron and today I'm going to try over dyeing this skein of cotton yarn. I'm not sure how much cotton yarn there is in here. 50-ish grams possibly, but I'm not 100%. And this has been soaking in soda ash and water for, a cut for probably about half an hour now. And I have some leftover dyes. Uh, this one is Snozberry. This one is um, Raven Black. Uh, a very weak dilution of Raven Black that I was using in another project. And since I hate to waste dye, I would just use this bit of cotton to try and use up this leftover Snozberry and Raven Black. Now when I measured out these dyes, I used um, all of, all of my equip equipment is dedicated for dyeing and when I measured out these dyes I did wear a mask and I've still got my gloves on so you can see and since this is cotton it's been soaking in soda ash and water instead of um, a vinegar which is what you need for an animal fibre and I'm using fibre reactive dyes so you can't use fibre reactive dyes with um, plant based fibres you can only use reactive dyes. So this is looking pretty good I think. Almost out of snozberry. I didn't use too much um, dye in either of these because I was dyeing floss and I didn't want to have loads and loads of dye left over like I normally do. So and I, I knew I'd have some dye left over but I didn't want loads and loads. <laughs> so there we go that's the Snozberry. Let's give that a little um, massage through. Hopefully it'll go all the way through. And yes, I do like saying snozberry a lot. <laughs> so whenever I use that dye, I just say snozberry lots and lots because I just find it funny. And Raven Black. Now this, I did have it very, very pale actually since this is the same brush, but I'm not, uh, I, don't, I don't worry about it being washed. I don't, I'm not worried about contaminating this because this is just all leftovers that I'm just <laughs> pouring on now. I want to use up all of this, but it's very, very weak, very, very pale dilution because I wanted sort of a, a silvery gray color rather than black. I'm hoping this way this will look a nice sort of silver grey and not just dirty. But I think this looks all right. This was a Christmas colourway inspiration, so I wonder if this will end up sort of Christmassy feeling as well. I don't know. Well, now since this is um, a f uh, an animal, it's not animal, it's a plant-based fibre and fibre reactive dyes, this just needs time to set, it doesn't need heat, so I'm going to wrap this up and leave this for the next 48 hours-ish and hopefully that will be enough time for the dye to really set to the yarn. It's time to start washing this cotton yarn. I've just taken it out of the cling film and the cling film looks pretty clear to me, which is fantastic. So I'm going to run this under some cool tap water and there is some runoff which always happens with cotton. It's not something I'm too worried about because it does happen but it doesn't seem to be too much at all which is always good. What I'm going to do is just add a little bit of washing up liquid and then what I find is the best way to, um, to wash cotton is to put water in, in here in one of my jugs. Jugs? This is a jar. There we go. And I just let this soak. I will change the water in this several times. Uh, I, I leave the water between changes from anything from about 10 minutes to over month, overnight, just depending on how much dye there is coming out. But if you have a look, it doesn't actually seem to be too much dye coming out of this. 
which is really, really good. So this hopefully won't take too many rinses. And here is the finished yarn. I love this. I think it looks lovely. The pink really comes through on this and it works really well with the purple and the grey that I used. Um, if we have a little look, that purple and pink just work so well together. And then if we come further down here, you can see the grey. It's I was I was going for silver. I'm not sure if I would call this silver or grey, um, but these patches look lovely, I think. Um, I'm very curious to see how this would knit up, um, just to see if it would be sort of a, a striping, a self-striping thing, or if the or if it's just too subtle. I don't know, but it might be quite interesting. I don't know what I could knit with this because it's not a huge amount of yarn. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, th I think this looks really great and I'm glad I used up the rest of this dye on this yarn. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Do please click like and subscribe to my channel. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this tutorial. Let me know what you think of this yarn, the colours. Should I over dye this with something else or should I just leave it as it is? Uh, I want to know what you think. I publish a new dyeing tutorial every Monday around about 6pm UK time and I do like to experiment with different things. I like to use different fibre types, different dyes. I don't like to throw any dye away. I like to try and use up everything that I've got so there's no wastage. So then I end up creating something like this. Uh, so there should always be something different and interesting to watch. Thank you so much for watching.